What's up everybody, Dan here, and today, in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of what is on my taskbar, superbar, or whatever you want to call it, in Windows 7. And I'm going to be uploading this as a video response to Chatty's 4's video, if any of you guys watch videos on his channel. So, here we go. Starting over here on the left, I have my email program, Mozilla Thunderbird, and I think it's a heck of a lot better than Windows Live Mail and Outlook, because I've tried both of those, and I think this just trumps over all of them. Then after that, I have my primary web browser I use, Google Chrome. Then after that, I have Internet Explorer, and if you can't tell from the icon already, I have Internet Explorer 9 Beta. Oh, sorry about that. I'll just do that. Then after that, I have 360 Share Pro, which I use to download my music with. After that, I have iTunes. Just use it to manage my iPod and get apps for it and stuff. And overall, I think it is improved because, as you can see from the icon, it's iTunes 10. And overall, I just think it's a much better experience experience from previous versions of iTunes. Next up we have Windows Media Center and I just basically use that for watching live TV because I have a TV tuner. It's a pause Win TV H Win TV HVR eight fifty USB TV tuner and I use it along with an antenna as you probably saw in my review video of that a couple months back and it works pretty nice. After that I have Windows Media Player. Um, I use this sometimes to check to make sure if the file I downloaded from 360 Share Pro doesn't have any skips in it and that's about it. Other than that I would just play all my media files in iTunes. After that I have Samsung New Piece PC Studio. I use this occasionally for managing the content on my Samsung Impression cell phone, such as my ringtone and stuff, but I barely actually use this anymore because I can just take the micro SD card right out of my phone and just copy stuff right onto it thanks to the micro SD adapter and the SD card slot on my laptop. Finally, out of all the Final thing out of all the programs I have stationary on my toolbar here is BlueJay. And in case you're wondering what BlueJay is, for those of you who don't know, it is a program which you can use to write um, to write programs in the Java language. And for those of you who know, Java is a programming language, and I have this on my computer here at home because this is software we use at school and if I like, like let's say I miss a day or something or I had to leave that class early I can just do my stuff from that we're going to do in class that day here at home with, with that program then right here is Camtasia Recorder that doesn't stay there because I save up for recording this video and I'm actually going to give you guys a tour of my notification area too this icon it usually is in there because that's for our new email. Right here I have iTunes, which I have set minimized to here as you can see. Then I have the Action Center, nothing special. You guys should all know that what that is if you use Windows 7. Then after that I have, what's it called again? Oh yeah, that's right, Logitech Setpoint. And that's used to manage the the settings of my Logitech V220 wireless optical mouse. Then here's the notification icon for new Samsung new PC studio. Avast antivirus. Dell Quick Set for this is like for adjusting settings of all the high keys and stuff on my the keyboard here on my Dell laptop. Dell Support Center. This is like for messages from Dell and stuff. What Pulse? This is like just a fun thing for us geeks to use 
like as you can see it tracks the amount of times you press the key on the keyboard and clicks on the mouse and how far you moved it either miles or kilometers then I have Adware this is my program for removing spyware and, or protecting myself from spyware even though Avast already does that but it doesn't hurt to have um, more protection because sometimes two is better than one then I just have the battery icon right here or power icon my internet icon and the volume and what the heck because I feel like making this video like as long as possible I'm also going to give you guys a tour of my well it's not the sidebar anymore it's just gadgets but I like having them pinned to the side of the screen because I feel more organized so for those gadgets I have the calendar two weather ones a clock and a CPU meter so that is about it for this video of the tour of my taskbar and superbar and stuff oh that's weird this is stuck in here there we go so to get that unstuck so that's about it for this video of a tour of my taskbar superbar along the notification area and the gadgets I have so I hope you enjoyed this video and as always I hope you guys have a great day or night